I'm a professional YouTuber. No, not really. I'm a professional YouTube watcher. Wait, that means I get paid to watch. Okay, I watch a lot of YouTube. And anything you do a lot of, you want to be proficient at it. Yes, I want to even be proficient at watching YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you some really game-changing keyboard shortcuts for watching YouTube. Let's get into it. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you some very useful game-changing keyboard shortcuts when viewing YouTube videos. Now this mainly applies to the YouTube player on a browser on the desktop. So there are other shortcuts that are on the iPad, on iOS, on Android, but this mainly applies to the browser desktop version. So I'm here in one of my YouTube videos, M1 Mac Mini one year later, and the, to demonstrate these keyboard shortcuts, I do have this app that'll display what I'm pressing on the screen here. So one of the most basic keyboard shortcuts is the space bar to play and pause your video. So if I hit, if I hit the space bar now, you'll see on the lower left that little arrow, that little character there represents the space bar key. If I hit it again, you'll see it pauses it, hit it again and play. But these next couple of shortcuts are really game changers for me. And it has to do with how your hands are on your keyboard in the ready position or normal position. And I'm talking about the J, K, and L keys here. So if I hit K, that does the same thing as play and pausing there. But if I wanna seek forward or skip skim through this video by 10 seconds, I can hit the L button. And that skips forward by 10 seconds. And I can just hit it as many times as I want. See how it sk skips through the video? You can hit it as many times as you want. And the same thing with going backwards, I can hit the J key and it goes backwards. So sometimes I'm like, oh, what did that person say? I go backwards J and it goes back another 10 seconds. Of course, you can do this with the arrow keys. The arrow keys seeks forward by five seconds. And so that's one way to really just even go back just for that one part. But if you're really trying to skim through the video itself, then you can use the L and the J key. So these are really two game-changing types of keyboard shortcuts. Another quick way to get to different parts of your video is using the number pad. So let's say I wanna to go to, let's say 10% uh, into the video. So I can hit the number one. If I wanna to go to halfway of the video, which is 50%, hit five, if I wanna to go towards the end, hit nine. If I wanna to go to the beginning, which is 0%, meaning it hasn't started yet, just hit zero. And then you, you'll go to the beginning of the video. So this is one easy way to go to different parts and skip through different parts of your video. Now, if you're someone that likes to speed up your videos or slow down the play rate of your videos, let's say, okay, this guy right here, he's talking way too slow. The one way to do it is you can hit shift, and period, which is the angle bracket. And this will speed up the timing of the video. So this, it went to 1.25% there. I can hit it again, 1.5, 1.75, two times speed right now. And then you can slow it back down by going the other way, which is shift comma here, which is the angle bracket the other way. And I can really slow this down. Let's say I'm really watching some video. I wanna watch the highlights or something and you can really slow down a video. So you can play around with the different angle brackets here, which is shift comma and shift period, and then you can get it back to one X, which is normal speed here. These next set of shortcuts have to do with how you view the player itself. Let's say I wanted to hide or not get distracted by the suggested videos on the right here, and I wanna make it to theater mode. And of course you can use your mouse and just click on the theater mode there. As you can see, there's a little shortcut, there's a little T there. So if you hit the letter T, that toggles between theater mode and regular mode. And let's say you got to this video through my channel here. One way to go back to the channel page without stopping the video is toggling the mini player. So if I hit the letter I, that brings me back to the page here. And if I hit I again, that of course bring me back to the player. Now, if you got here through a search, 
your search results will show up when you hit I instead of the page. It depends on where you come from. So because I came here from the my channel page, it shows up uh, when I hit the mini player. But if you got here through the search and you hit the mini player, your search results will show up. So that's one cool way if you're just kind of skimming through different videos, trying to find the right one, but you don't want to stop the player right away, the mini player is one way to do it. And in the last one in this set of shortcuts, if you want to toggle on and off full screen mode, you would just hit F there and that'll make it full screen, hit F again, and it'll, that, it'll bring you back to the regular player here. So let's say you want to examine a video a little bit closely. You want to do it frame by frame. Let's say someone pops up a message, like some text for a split second. Some YouTubers do this and you're like, what did that say? So I'm going to have a message pop up here in my video here and we can see how we can examine it. Okay. Of course I put it on there long enough that you could see and make out what it was, but if you didn't, now we have the video pause. We can use the comma and the period key again, but without the shift. So it's not the angle bracket, but it's actually the comma and the period key here. And when I hit the comma key, I go back one frame, but I can just keep on hitting it until I hit that frame that I want to. Now period goes forward, comma goes backwards. So that's one way to kind of go through a video frame by frame. Let's say, oh, you have a, a sports video and you see someone in the crowd. Oh, is that so-and-so? So you can hit pause and just go frame by frame to see how, uh, see if you can see that person in that video. If you're viewing a video in a playlist and you wanna to go to the next video on the list here, I'm in my Apple Mac playlist here and I wanna to go to the next one here, you can hit shift N for next video there. And that'll bring up the next video on the list. If you wanna to go to the previous one, hit shift P and that'll work. And so you can go through a playlist pretty easily that way. But let's say you're viewing a video that's not in a, in a playlist. The shift and key keyboard shortcut will still work. It'll go to this next suggested video in YouTube. So let's say, oh, I wanna see this Tom Buck video that he did. So if I hit shift N, it'll go right to that video itself. Now, unfortunately, if you hit shift P, it doesn't work because you're not in a playlist. If you really wanna go back to the previous one, you could just hit back on your browser. And then I'm gonna run through the rest of these shortcuts that I wanted to show you. First, if you wanted to toggle on and off the closed captioning, you hit C and that'll turn it on and off. So I'm gonna turn it off now by hitting C again. If I wanted to mute the video, I can hit M. So now the video is muted. And then I hit M again, it's unmuted now. Speaking of volume, if I wanted to control the volume a little bit by a little bit, I can use the arrow keys, but if I hit the arrow keys right now up and down, it's gonna go scrolling down on the page, right? Scrolling up on the page there. The way to do it is you need to have the video player in focus. So one way to do that is you have to use your mouse, click on it, you can hit play again, and now the volume is changing here. So if I mouse over the volume there, you can see the volume changing. Now a real world kind of use of this is let's say I wanna just change the volume or lower the volume here. I can just mouse over, set the volume, and then do your kind of granular uh, adjustments after that, because now the player is in focus, right? So I can use the up and down arrow keys now to change the volume, and it does it by 5% increments. And then last but not least, if you wanna quickly get to the search box without clicking on the search box up there, you can hit this forward slash, and you're right in the search box now. Now, of course, if you're in the search box right now, you can't use any of those keyboard shortcuts you learned today. Now, the way to get out of there is you can either click on any place there, or what you can do is just hit tab and you're unfocused. Once you're unfocused out of that text box there, you can use any of the shortcuts you learned today. Hope you found this video helpful. Now you can use these shortcuts even on embedded YouTube videos that are on other websites you have to make sure the player itself is in focus. You can do that by just clicking on it and then you, all the shortcuts will work. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.